everybody. I am David Spear with Final Touch Auto Detailing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take some funky headlights like this. I'm going to clean them up. We're going to get them back to looking as good as they possibly can. Now the process I'm going to use today will be first we're going to pull this piece out of there. It snaps in like a Lego. We're going to use some sandpaper some 1000 grit we're going to step up to 2000 grit and then we're going to finish up with 3000 grit see where we are at first it's going to actually look worse when we get sanding on it and then as we refine the process by sanding it finer it'll look better and then whenever i use some polish and uh, get out the rotary polisher here we'll be able to clean that up and it'll be back to very clear again so i'll show you the process with that and after that, we're going to get it coated with a ceramic coating, kind of like what we use on paint when we coat paint, to give it a little bit more protection because if you just leave it exposed within probably six months, it's going to look like this again. And some people ask, well, why does that happen? Sometimes chemicals get on it. Sometimes just the sun beats it up. Also, you got the elements. Whenever you're driving down the road, uh, bug guts, when they get stuck to it, that acid in it just ruins your finish of your paint and your headlights debris that's flying up little bits of sand and dust particles and even rocks you know you get 50 60 70 mile an hour wind banging the those rough abrasive materials into your paint or your headlights as this is will just make them look rough so we're going to get down to it we're going to pop this piece out then i'll take you on and show you how sanding goes using wet grade sandpaper it needs to be wet All right, so here I've done the 1000 grit and the 2000 grit, and there's still some fine sanding marks left in there. I'm gonna go over it now with the 3000 and take out some of those finer marks, and then I'll take you back along when I get to the compound and polishing step. If we need to do both steps, we will, but I'll pick back up there and show you from there the rest of what's going on. Now right now there's a little bit of water inside some of the really fine scratches from the 3000 grit. That's why you'll start to see it there. It starts coming back up. For a moment it looked really clear and as the water kind of dries up, you still see just a slight bit of haze. In some headlights there is actually deterioration on the inside of the lens due to the excessive heat from inside. Because these are sealed up, the heat that is produced from the headlights doesn't really have anywhere to get out. So there will be some cases where headlights will have deterioration on the inside. And the only way to fix that is to take the lens out, put it in the oven and bake it for a little while. And that helps dry out the glue. And then you can separate it. You can fix it from the inside and then seal it back up. That is a possibility but in most cases it's probably better just to go ahead and replace the entire headlight housing uh, the time spent versus the work to do it 
it would just be more economical to go ahead and replace it. I don't know how well you can see that there. The, um, the sand and marks there, we got some sand and marks left over from the 2000. So it started with 1000, went to 2000. It still looks a little rough. That's why it's a little bit more cloudy there now. And then I'm gonna take you through it, but I'm gonna go through the whole sanding process with 3000 grit on this side and let you see what's going on. I'm gonna go over it with a 3000 grit get that fine down a little bit better and then I'll take you along for the polishing step. All right, so from here, we're just gonna wipe all that off, try to get it good and clean, and then we'll be on to the compounding point. Anyway, we're gonna crank this up about two and a half or three, make a little bit of noise. All right, the last step here, the headlight is all clear, and now it's time to try to get that focus for you. We'll be using our C quartz coating. The process here. camera in so you can check it out a little better. Alright, thanks for watching.